This video is going to be your ultimate guide to everything that you need to know about moving to New Zealand. If you don't know me, I'm Tara and I moved my family of six from the US to New Zealand and lived there for eight years. And now I help other people move there. So you're not gonna wanna miss this video if you have any inkling that you might wanna move to New Zealand soon or later. Okay, before we dive in, I just want you to know that next week I'm doing free webinars on how to move to New Zealand and my licensed immigration partner is going to be there to answer all of your visa questions. So you're not going to want to miss that if you are serious about possibly moving or just have some questions to see if this even makes sense for you. I will put the link in the description below. And if you're watching this after that happens, I will put a link in there for you to watch the replay if that's helpful. But here we go. If you want to move to New Zealand, the first thing that you want to do is you need to figure out what visa works for you. Now, this may be obvious to some of you, but I can't tell you how many clients I talk to have no idea that they need to get a visa and the process for that and that it takes a long time and that it can be very expensive. And so let's overview the visa options when moving to New Zealand. So when you are considering a move to New Zealand, I am not going to go through the exact visa options today because they are always changing. <laughs> and this is why I have partnered with the largest uh, immigration consulting company in New Zealand working in as they are always on top of it and always know exactly what the best pathways would be for you to do. And so when you come into my community, you get access to them. It's great. Okay. But you do need to get a visa. So let me just talk about it in general. So generally you, if you're coming with a family, you're going to want a skilled migrant visa because that will give you, um, all the healthcare and, you know, the ability to send your kids to school and all that sort of thing. But there are a lot of new pathways now that, um, are more of like a work visa, but also have benefits. And there are so many pathways right now that you cannot figure out the best pathway for yourself on your own. Now, when I moved to New Zealand back in 2013, you could. There was like a handful of pathways. I never used an immigration consultant. I never needed a lawyer because it was easy. That is not how it is anymore. It is not easy. It is not straightforward. And now New Zealand immigration is job based. So you have to get a job with an accredited employer to even get the visa. And so the process is quite different. And so this is why I'm doing this these webinars so that you can figure out uh, the best visa pathway for yourself. But with that being said, the first step that I think that you should do is to go on the New Zealand immigration website. I will put the link below. It'll ask you questions and it'll give you the visa options that you have based on where you're coming from, what skills you have, what you're looking for, what your goals are, and it'll list out a bunch of visas. Now, do not just go and apply for those visas or pick one that you think you like and do that. You can do that. That is not what I recommend. I recommend that you come in, talk to me, uh, get into my community and I'll get you set up with an immigration consultant because seeing what visa makes sense for you may not be the best visa for your goals for long term. And so this is why it's helpful to talk to an immigration person. And this is why um, there are a few steps ahead of that before I would do it because it's not cheap to apply for a visa. And so before you spend any money, let's just make sure that this is the best visa option for you because you will be surprised. So many of my clients are like, oh, I didn't even think about that. Or like some old skill that you used to have maybe a much easier way to get a job in a much quicker and a much better situation for your family. Or they can be honest with you and tell you it's going to be really hard for you to find a job that maybe the study route would make more sense and there are some amazing benefits with getting um, a student visa so so many things to consider i just don't want you my recommendation is for you to not just like dive into it if you do you do and everybody can make their own choices that's fine but that is not my recommendation you don't have to work with me you don't have to work with my partner there are other immigration companies these are just ones that I trust. This is one that is like equal to me in terms of level of service and honesty. And I am just here because I am offering services and trainings to people for the things I wish I would have had. Now, did I survive fine? Did I do well in New Zealand in eight years? Yes, I did. But it took me five years to figure a lot of things out of which this is what I train you in my um, community membership that I have. And so that you can get, you can hit the ground running when you get to New Zealand and thrive and 
uh, not make as many mistakes as I did and that sort of thing. So it's a completely optional thing. You do not need to do it, but it is a service that's there if that would be helpful to you. But that's not my point in this video. <laughs> my point is to tell you that number one, you need to figure out what visa makes sense for you. Okay, second step. Once you've figured out your visa, now, one thing that I didn't say about the visa is when you go to the New Zealand immigration site, look at their green list. Those are going to be the most, the easiest jobs to get. That's how I should say it. The easiest job to get is they're going to be the jobs and the skills that they're looking for on the green list. Okay. So the second step is to then get a job. Okay. So once we know what visa you, you can look at the green list. Those will be your easiest ones. If you're not on there, that doesn't mean that you can't get a job. It's just going to be a lot harder. I'm just going to be real honest with you be a lot harder. Okay. So once you get your visa sorted, I don't want you to apply for jobs until, um, working in gives you a letter that says this person qualifies for a visa as long as they get a job with an accredited employer. Because what I'm telling you is that nobody is going to look at your CV unless you have a letter like that. So many clients of mine have spent a year a wasted just applying for jobs without this letter. And it's like, you have to understand it from the employer's perspective. You're not in the country. Uh, they, they don't know if you're serious about coming here. They don't know if you meet the other requirements that immigration requires in order for you to be there. So if you have this letter, it's everything. It says, hey, the only, they're, they're allowed to move there. They can get this visa as long as they get the job. And so it kind of eliminates a lot of risk for them. And so then yes, now they're, gonna you know maybe consider you okay so you have to look at it from the from the employer's perspective okay and it gives you the best option what i said when we talked about visa is that you may have to apply for jobs that maybe not be your first choice but you need to get your foot in the door you need to get into the country people need to know you i'm telling you that's how new zealand works knowing people seeing your face being there okay all of that matters don't just send paper Okay. They don't care. They want to know you. They want to know that you're serious about living there and that sort of thing. So going into 2025, some of the key jobs, doctors, IT workers, there's huge changes to IT that's happening and they're going to be doing tons of hiring. So if you're in any professional realm of IT, that's huge. Cybersecurity also going to be big next year. Teachers, huge demand for teachers. So, um, get your CVs ready. <laughs> um, and you know, start applying for those once you get that letter from um, a licensed immigration. You do not need to use my company. You can use, but just have that. Okay. Uh, also, if you need help doing a resume, doing your CV, uh, preparing for interviews, I do have services for that as well. You can check that out on my website. Um, a lot of people use those because like the words that you use are different. Um, the words that you, you seek to find a job are different. Everything is just a little bit different. So those are very key things. So the second step is to get it to find, start looking for a job. So visa, job, get that sorted. The third step that you, that you need to take when you're thinking about moving to New Zealand once, and these are all kind of the, you do these in conjunction with each other. So once you get the, it kind of goes visa job, but at the same time, you could start looking at moving. And that's where I come in. So I have a whole community online that helps people move to New Zealand and trains you up on everything that you need to know about making all of those kind of decisions. Should I sell my house? Should I keep my house? Should I sell my car? Can I ship my pets? What should I bring? What shouldn't I bring? Um, and then in my community, I also have a whole cultural training. I have some um, really great videos on acclimating culture, how it's different definitely how it's different from the US because I'm an American, but it applies to a lot of people just understanding the culture. I have just really great trainings in that and then just kind of mentally how to prepare how to deal with friends and family. So many things like over 50 videos. So many and I'm always adding videos any video you want me to make. And these are just things to help you prepare for the move and to make sure that when you get there that you can get you know, your bank account set up your um, IRD number, like everything set up and it's all kind of in there. And it's a place where you can meet other people that are moving there so that you can maybe have a friend before you actually get there. Uh, just talk about things. So many things come up. So many feelings come up about the move and that that's your safe place to talk about that and to get that, um, 
answered and it's not expensive. <laughs> I, and you can come and go as you want. I don't have, I don't put people in like community membership jail. Um, and this isn't even a video to promote that. I'm just saying that that's one of the services out there. There are many great Facebook groups, although some of them I find quite negative <laughs> about New Zealand. Um, there's other people that do what I do. So this isn't a sales pitch for me. This is just, I want you to have the best experience moving forward in New Zealand. And I think that what I offer is amazing. And I also know that there's plenty of other free things out there for you. And I know that all my clients use it. And then just email me. You can always email me anytime with questions about, should I bring this? Should I not bring this? Another thing that I just came out with, people in my community have got are like, what stores to get things in? Cause you get there and like, Harvey Norman, Noah Leeming, you know, what do they even sell? Where should I buy stuff? Where should I wait to get on sale? And I just kind of compare them to, you know, the typical US <laughs> stores. And like, if you're looking for Kohl's and I would go here, you know, like the Kmart is actually nice in New Zealand. It isn't, yeah, it isn't like what you were thinking in your American mind. So, so many different things, just kind of all those kind of tidbits to get you off and running, but also, cultural training on like work culture. Work culture is different, you guys. I want you to be successful. I've seen a lot of people burn bridges because they didn't know. And so all of these things. So anyway, I think it's really helpful and really great. But that's kind of like your 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 next step or your step that you're doing in conjunction with getting your visa and your job sorted is figuring out how you're gonna move and how, how you're gonna set up life there and where are you gonna live and can I afford this? And how do I go about renting a house? Can I buy a house? Can't buy a house until you have permanent residency, but so many things. And that's what I'm here for, to answer all of those questions and to make the whole transition easy for you. So get in community, ask questions. That's your third step and figure out what it is that you should bring, what you shouldn't bring. Um, and I just share my perspective. I'm not you, I'm not everybody, uh, but there's been a lot of people on my channel or that I've had, um, you know, just speak about, you know, the decisions that they made and why they did that. And there's some great podcasts out there. So check all of that out. That's your next step is to start mentally um, preparing for the move, thinking about all of that sort of thing, because that's a big, big chunk of it. And the fourth step that I would do is just start doing your research. I share my whole journey on this channel. There's tons of people that share their journey in New Zealand, figuring out where to live. So most jobs are going to be in Auckland, Wellington, or Christchurch. Those are the three main cities. Uh, so start looking into those areas. Um, I can give you tons of um, references for, you know, figuring out what neighborhoods, especially if you're in Wellington. I spent all my time in the Wellington Lower Hut area. If you're looking there, I can certainly help you figuring out schools for your kids. There is a lot of those kind of details, but that's kind of after. So once you're kind of getting the visa mode, you know what kind of job you're looking for, you're starting to get your life figured out. Now you're starting to think about, okay, where are we gonna go? Should I rent before I go? We talk about that in the community, but um, yeah, I actually rented a house before I actually arrived and it was fine. A lot of times you freak out because you feel like I've never been there. I don't know, is it safe to do that? It is, it's safe to do that. I wouldn't worry about it. Uh, I would definitely recommend renting to figure out, make sure that this is where you wanna be, get a sense. Houses are expensive. They're sold totally differently. They're sold like by auction and like, I don't know, this weird, I don't know. It was just, I didn't like it, but we can talk about that more. <laughs> and so like kind of figuring all of that out, just take some time to figure it out. Nothing's that hard. Actually, things in New Zealand are quite easy to do. Buying a car is easy to do. I can tell you where to go to get that. Also, if you do any sort of visa services with working in the, my immigration partner, they it's included in it, um, all this relocation services. It's amazing what they offer. They actually have things that I had no idea that existed that you can like rent a car for a month when you get there. Like if you just want to rent a car, like it's just like this whole move is huge. It is extreme. It's a lot of change. Just give me a car. So I can get around, I don't have to decide what car I want to get, you know, because the cars are different. They're not the same ones that are, that are here in the US and you're driving on the left side of the road. There's just a lot of adjustment. I didn't even know you could do that. They have amazing services. I also in my community have lots of resources of thing, places that I recommend that I've used. I generally will only recommend things that I've used or that I'm really confident or good that other clients have said that this is good. But again, it's just a recommendation. And then, you know, that's a lot. That's a lot to figure out. 
one thing that I'm going to say to you that when you are moving to New Zealand, and I say this to my clients all the time, is you need to change your American mentality. You're not getting there and you're not immediately jumping into work. If you literally have no money saved <laughs> to kind of survive for a couple weeks, then yeah, you have to do that. But most people have something and they can get there and just give yourself a minute, okay? Take a break, don't start your job right away and don't be afraid to ask that. It's normal in New Zealand. You can just ask that they're not, they're very, very reasonable. They understand what you're going through. The transition is big. Spend some time, do some traveling, get your kids sorted in school. Just give yourself a minute, even if it's just a couple of days, do it. Okay, don't try to just jump into everything and try. This is a very big transition. And so a lot of times people just think they need to do these tasks, but they don't take into account the emotional side. Um, you know, the, the reality of doing it, the way it affects you physically. So this is why I'm here. This is why I have this community as well, because like I understand you don't even realize how much you need me. That's basically why I'm like, is that like, it's so good. I mean, I could just... I should really have my clients on my channel a lot more. So if you are a past client of mine and you want to be on this channel, let's share your story because I think that, that you don't need to just believe me. Um, and you know, I have some of them on my podcast and stuff. So anyway, you need to start thinking about your fourth step is to start thinking about where you want to move, what that's going to look like, be open. Okay. But let me just give you one recommendation. There's not a lot of places in New Zealand that are not nice, okay? So don't stress about it. You're not gonna get in a in a rough area or like, I'm not gonna like this. It's pretty great, pretty much everywhere, okay? <laughs> and if you have any doubts, you can always ask me. Okay, I just feel like I talked about a lot of information. I hope that that helped. I hope that I made some sort of sense. Definitely join me in the webinar or if the webinar has already happened, I've put that link below. Also, I'm going to create a playlist of all of the videos I've made about how to immigrate. So that's all in one place. So I'll put that below as well. Uh, and because I've done some interviews with working in, you can meet them. You can see what they have to say. So many good things. I will put that below as well. And yeah, I'm here for your questions. Let me know, put them in the comments and I will, I will answer them and help you on this journey. I'm excited for you.